Supporting recovery in the workplace isn't just good for business, it's also just good. That was part of the message shared today in front of dozens of Central Florida business leaders. In this State of Addiction report, West 2's Christina Watkins tells us how Project Opioid is expanding in Central Florida in hopes of preventing overdose deaths. These drugs need to be everywhere. They're not controversial. They simply save lives. The drugs Andre Bailey is talking about are the ones aimed to help prevent a drug overdose. Project Opioid is about coming together. The founder of Project Opioid stood in front of a room at the Kia Center on Monday, encouraging business and faith leaders to learn how they can save a life. Even though around America, the death rate continues to soar. We're seeing communities in Florida make progress for the first time. Bailey says a new study co-authored by a UCF professor highlights how distributing naloxone helped reduce overdose deaths in our state. Sheriff Dennis Lima says he sees the results firsthand in Seminole County. We've seen actually a shift uh, from public safety professionals having to deploy this to now citizens actually doing it. And I think that that's so uh, incredibly important. Just last year, Project Opioid says it managed to get nearly 14,000 doses of medicine like this into the hands of people across our community. They also engaged with more than 140 community, business, and faith leaders. Bring leaders together to solve the opioid crisis and come up with solutions. Bailey says they're reaching more people through partnerships with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office and Orange County government leaders. He hopes more executives opt in and be part of the solution. The data collection, the scientific evidence suggests that access to uh, naloxone literally saves lives. You combine that with a greater message of changing the face of dependency and addiction and humanizing it, and I think that you have a recipe for great momentum. In Orlando, Christina Watkins, West 2 News. Project Opioid also announced a new mental health initiative called Breaking Through. The goal is to address some of the challenges for Gen Z and millennials. You can find out more about that and Project Opioid by going to WESH.com.